Hi everyone, this is uh, Sarfaraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question 74 from the OG 13 critical reasoning chapter. The stimulus says using broad spectrum weed killers on weeds that are competing with crops for sunlight, water and nutrients presents a difficulty. How to keep the crop from being killed along with the weeds? Understandable. For at least some food crops, Specially treated seed that produces plants resistant to weed killers is under development. Okay, this is interesting. So keep in mind that these plants are resistant to weed killers. So uh, they won't have a problem that other plants have by the use of weed killers. This resistance wears off as the plants mature. Therefore, the special seed treatment will be specially useful for plants that so we have to now put something in the blank which tells us that what kind of plants will this particular uh, seed treatment be specially useful for. And we know uh, that the seed treatment's uh, characteristic is that as the plant, as the plant matures or grows older, the effect of uh, the uh, seed uh, uh, treatment wears off. So the immunity of the plant uh, to weed killers goes down as it matures. So then which plants does it make sense to use these uh, uh, seed uh, this seed treatment for that's basically the question for us. So let's look at the options A says uh, this can be used for plants that produce their crop over an extended period of time as summer squash does. Well I don't see how that helps uh, uh, with the use of this particular uh, seed treatment. Um, B says produce large seeds that are easy to treat individually as corn and beans do again uh, has nothing to do with this particular uh, uh, seed treatment. I mean, all we know about seed treatment is that as the plant becomes older, the resistance uh, of the plant goes down to weed killers. So the answer has to be linked to that in some way. A and B have no connection with that. C says, provide as they mature, as they approach maturity, shade dense enough to keep weeds from growing. Now this looks good because see, when the plant is young, it anyway has resistance to weed killers, and at, as it matures. It creates a, a, you know, a so much shade that prevents weeds from growing. So in its, when the plant is young, it is protected from weeds and when the plant is old or mature, it is still protected from weeds. So for these plants, the seed uh, treatment makes perfect sense. So C should be the answer ideally. D says, for plants that are typically grown in large tracts dev devoted to a single crop. So again, I don't see how it helps. E says are cultivated specifically for the seed they produce rather than for their leaves or roots. No connection with uh, what the argument says. So you see, the answer is C and the reason we are immediately able to go with C is because we understand that the only quality or trait that is given in the argument about this particular seed treatment is that it works for plants only when the plants are young. As the plants mature, the effect of this uh, seed treatment wears off. So the answer has to be somewhere linked to that. And C is the only one uh, that links uh, to that. And that should be your answer. So on a difficulty scale of 1 to 5, I would give this one um, a 3.5 maybe. Have a nice day.